Senator Carper. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, Mr. Chairman, the Chairman Yasko, in, in your testimony, you mentioned that the Commission has agreed to move forward on, I think, seven recommendations, maybe a few, maybe you said five. Can, could you just give us a timeline of when you believe those recommendations will be implemented uh, by a staff and completed by the Commission? Uh, it's, it's not clear at this point. The staff has not fully developed timelines uh, for completion. Uh, the last information I received was that for the, um, the orders on some of those uh, near term wouldn't probably be done until May or June. Uh, I indicated to the staff that that was unacceptable. That was too much time, and we need to uh, figure out how to accelerate that, uh, that timetable. Um, some of the letters that are so-called referred to as 5054F letters, which are essentially requests for information, would likely be done uh, a little bit sooner. Uh, but I, I think we have um, right. we've taken probably too long to uh, get to the point where we can actually get out and start having the staff do their, um, do their work to, uh, to really engage directly with the licensees. I would have hoped that we were farther along at this point, but we are, we are where we are. Mm -hmm. Um, just to follow up, I believe the Commission has, has stated that it hopes to complete uh, and implement all the lessons learned from the Fukushima accident uh, within five years. I think that would be by, by 2016. Uh, based on the progress so far, do you think the NRC is likely to meet that goal? I think it's difficult to say. Uh, I think at, at this point we haven't really um, laid out a, a, a really a, a clear enough path, I think, to get to those five years. Uh, so certainly given that everybody's expressed an interest in doing it, I'm hopeful that we'll be able to accomplish it, but I, I'm not sure that I see a plan yet that'll get us there in five years. Mm -hmm. um, if I could, uh, Commissioner Savinicki, uh, do you agree with uh, those timelines? Do you believe that the NRC will meet them? I, I, I agree with Chairman Yatsko that there are not the detailed timelines yet, that uh, it, with that you could have a better degree of assessing whether or not it can be done within five years, but I, I still think that it's a reasonable target. All right, thank you. Um, some of my colleagues and, and maybe even the Commission in the course of this uh, questioning and testimony have alluded to and talked about the powers of the Chairman. And the powers of the Chairman, uh, I think, uh, were found to be, after the Three Mile Island accident, were found to be uh, not clearly delineated. There's some who felt that the Chair, uh, uh, while the Chair was believed to be the first among equals, but the, the powers of the Chair were not as clearly delineated as they should have been. My understanding of history is because of that belief uh, after the Three Mile Island accident, uh, the chairman was uh, granted, I think by the urging of President Carter, was uh, granted uh, uh, powers for, for emergencies and for day-to-day -day authorities. And not every chairman has elected to fully use those powers. Uh, my understanding is that Chairman Yasko has decided to, to use those powers where others have chosen not to. I, I think back in the times in my own life, maybe other colleagues here can as well, when we had the authority, whether it was governor or was a naval officer, we had the authority to do a certain thing and chose to do something just a little differently uh, because of, uh, of the interest in building team, cooperation, and civility. And I would just ask that you go forward, that you keep that in, uh, that you keep that in, uh, in mind, Mr. Chairman. The, the other thing I want to say is, is a question. Um, a, a colleague of ours, Blanche Lincoln, uh, whom Senator Bozeman uh, su succeeds, uh, a dearly beloved colleague uh, from Arkansas, said during her, her uh, re-election campaign last year, she used to say, I'm sure the chair remembers this, uh, she used to say, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And uh, I can't imagine what you're going through right now, yesterday or today, is, is uh, uh, something that um, you'll remember fondly. Uh, but it's not going to kill you. Uh, and it may make you stronger. My question is, will it make you a better leader? Will it make you a better chair? If so, how? Well, I, as I indicated yesterday, um, some of these things that are of concern to my colleagues, uh, I found about, out about yesterday. Uh, and I've offered to reach out and talk to them uh, and for us to meet as a group to discuss these issues and better understand where uh, my interpretation of the statute or uh, where uh, any of my uh, actions have been um, uh, cause concern on their part. Uh, I think um, if they're willing to engage in that dialogue, I think that will invariably make, uh, it will make the commission stronger, which I think uh, in the end, uh, my leadership is defined by how well the commission functions. And, um, but I, you know, I, I will say that I, um, in the end, I'm committed to safety. 
Uh, I would always prefer a, a, a commission in which we all agree, in which there are no conflicts and there are no disagreements. I don't think that's realistic. Uh, and I think where we have to continue to work is to figure out a way to, to, uh, to disagree without there being personal uh, um, uh, okay. uh, accusations you. or things of that nature. Thank you. Let me conclude if I can. And in about uh, less than an hour, the chaplain of the Senate, very black, will uh, convene a, a Bible study group. He does this every Thursday at around 12.30 or so. And um, it's uh, something that maybe seven or eight of the, those of us who need the most help show up. And uh, he, uh, he reminds us almost every week as leaders in, uh, of this country that uh, we're uh, supposed to be humble, that we should practice and, and, and act as, as uh, remembering and try to channel, if you will, humility. He reminds us that we are servants. We are not to be served. We are servants, and we need to keep that in mind. And most of all, he reminds us to treat others uh, the way we want to be treated. He describes the uh, golden rule as the cliff notes of the New Testament. That's good advice for everybody on this side of, uh, of the dais, and it's certainly good advice for the people that are si sitting at this table, every one of you, and particularly the chairman. And I would ask that you take that, uh, that to heart as we try to every week. Thank you.